So direct response is a good way to find out whether or not we're achieving that. A good way for us to measure whether or not we're achieving stopping power. All right, so we talked about for this section, we're going to talk about the four P's in your plan. You're going to talk about the visual theme. You're going to create three print ads. And you're also going to develop three promotional concepts. So promotions would be like buy a chicken and pasta entree and get a soda free, or buy one hot dog and get the second one at half price, <coughs> or buy an entree and get a, a dollar off, right, things like that. Or it could be a contest or some type of sweepstake. A, there's a difference actually between a contest and a sweepstake. Anybody know? A contest is the winner has demonstrated some skill. So they win the contest because what they submitted to the committee was very, let's say, creative or something very compelling, like let's say they wrote a commercial for the company, or they developed a new logo for the company. Whereas a sweepstake is basically just a drawing. Like literally, your name is pulled out of a hat. Right? You win a trip to the Ukraine. Right? Not because you got skills, right? But because you, it was just a random drawing. But a contest is you have to do something. You've got to write a poem or something. And then they evaluate what you submit. They grade it. And then the person that wins is the one that has written the best commercial or designed the best logo or the best packaging or the best tagline. But those are examples of promotions. So sweepstakes, contests, free samples, buy one, get one free, which we call BOGO. <laughs> buy one, get one free. Or another type of promotion is a GWP, which is what? Gift with purchase. So those are some very popular promotions. So what we're going to do is we're going to develop some concepts for a promotion. What is the promotion that we're going to have for the spot? Sure. Um, um, how, how I found out about the spot was um, what, they had like an orientation for um, transfer students and, and then they made you go to the spot and that's how I found out. Do they do that for the graduate students also? Not as far as I know. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Maybe that could be an idea. Yeah, that's something that we could definitely look into. They do? For graduate students? Do like a uh, 10 hours, take, like pay 10 hours to get too much. Oh, okay, for the gains? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So do like 20% uh, off. Right. Price off is good. So that's what you need to address in, the, in this section of the, of the plan, which is the marketing plan. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull that all together, right? The final phase is I'm going to give you, you could do it. Shaido, you could do this. No, you could do it. I'm counting on you. You can make it happen. And we're waiting.
looking for some words of wisdom from you today, because everybody's still thinking about what you said about la last week. About, you know, don't stay at a job too long, you know? It's just like a relationship. It's not working out. You've got to bounce, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, you guys did section C, which is industry analysis. You're going to do section G, which is the marketing plan. And the final component is to take those two sections and the rest of the sections, which I'm going to give you, right, already written, and pull that all together. So definitely one of the key deliverables, one of the key things I want you to take away from the course is to know how to write a business plan. And I know you guys hate to do projects and all of that, but I really feel, honestly, I feel like you took this course and you moved on and you didn't know how to write a business plan, like, I cheated you out of something. So, I'm not having you do the entire business plan. I'm trying to be realistic. I know you're all busy. <coughs> you all got girlfriends and mistresses and wives and <laughs> you got all three. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, be realistic in terms of the workload. I'm not trying to go, you know, crazy up in here. <laughs> but you gotta know how to write a, a business plan. Right? So I think this is a good hands-on experience. And the other sections you're gonna incorporate that so you can see what's included. Um, the other sections in the business plan, certainly all of that is outlined in here, right? This is a really good outline, the art of writing a, a business plan. All right, questions? So what's going to be, who could tell us, who could give us a recap on what's going to be in the marketing plan? What's the key sections that we need to address? Yeah. Andy, the four P's, so you have to address product, pricing, the promotions, <laughs> and place. So product, we said you have to identify what the assortment is going to be, what products we're going to carry there, the price that we're going to sell them for. You got to develop three promotions and three print ads. That advertising is part of promotions. Place. And place is the visual theme. Right? You guys could do this. Who thinks they can't do it? You guys could do this. And if you have questions, I mean, still, it's not due for um, a few weeks yet. I mean, I'm available 24-7. Right, so you can call me, text me, email me. In fact, I get the most text messages and instant messages the day before an assignment is due. It's like the day before an assignment is due, iPhone, it's like with text messaging, ding, 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 ding. That's how I know, without even checking the syllabus, that there must be an assignment due tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>